What's up everybody, this is North Park 6666 here, and in this video I'm going to be playing Temple Run 2, which is a game I haven't played for quite a while. Well, I did try it earlier this month, and I did try to make a video of it, but unfortunately it didn't go as planned. And I also tried a bit of Baldi's Basics as well, and that didn't go as planned. So, the last video I did was a long play of Jolly World. Alright, I'm almost ready to play Temple Run 2. So before I start this game, I have played Temple Run 2 before. I've played the normal Temple Run 2, and I've played two other versions. But this is called Temple Run 2 Jungle Fall, which is one I haven't done before. So anyway, I'll try it out. So let's start the game. Press space to play. <laughs> This is one I've not done before. And as usual, it shows me what to do, so I have to press up. I played Temple Run 2 before, but it still gives me instructions. Oh, that was a bit deadly. And it looks like I'm ready now, so I can activate the power-up speed boost. You are ready now. I was ready ages ago. Well, it felt like ages ago. And we're collecting the tokens. And there's the other speed boost. I can see here that it's a little bit more difficult than the normal Temple Run 2. Oof. Ooh, I can continue. I thought I only have one life. Here we go again. I didn't think I'd get to continue in this one. So I still have to deal with the ads as it's on pokey.com You are ready now And I've got the shield to protect myself This version of Temple Run is new to me, but I like it. Oh, I almost failed then, but luckily I had the shield. 27,597. I'll continue. So this is the second time that I failed. I don't know how many lives I got left. But this was the second time I failed. I thought I only have one life in this game. I don't know if it's just the normal version of Temple Run, that is. Oh, the beast has got me! Retry number three. Let's go. And I got the speed boost straight away. 3,000 meters. They made the path so narrow here. Three thousand five hundred meters. I'm doing very well. I'm going to see if I can get to like five thousand meters. I can get to 50,000 on the score. 4,000 meters.
Well, that was a bit dodgy. The beast has caught up. That looked a bit scary. And I made it past 50,000. And I failed. Let's continue. I might only have one more life after this, so I have to be careful. I was going to go left, but it made me go right. I've got the magnet so I can pick up tokens easier. This is definitely harder than the normal Temple Run game. It was a big jump. made this version of Temple Run more deadly because I have to avoid everything like the Venus fly traps. I'm gonna go left but I can now activate the speed boost. I definitely like this version of Temple Run. And jump and slide. And I've got over 70,000 points. And yep, I think I failed then, so I'm going to have to start again. Chest found. Click to open. And collect. I think I'll have one more go at this game, and then I'll try a different version of Temple Run 2. I like how I'm running on the branches because I've got speed boost. If I have the speed boost on, this part will be much, much easier. Those snakes are ginormous. I did press the button to slide down, but I didn't know if I did it too early, and I've lost the power up. But luckily I get to retry. Oof. 
that was a stupid idea to try and jump over that. But it did look like I could jump over that. Maybe next time I'll just slide under the logs. 2,000 metres. I have just hit something because the beast has... How did I manage to miss that jump? The beast was blocking the view of my game. Let's carry on. And I don't know if this part right here is the hardest part of this game. The bit with the logs. And the Venus fly traps. Or the underground part, which is quite tricky as well. To the right. And I miss those tokens. There doesn't seem to be that many tokens as the other Temple Run 2 game. Three thousand five hundred meters. Speed boost. Here's the underground bit, which is quite tricky, especially with those gaps right there and thin paths. I know I talked about that lots of times, but that's the trickiest part in this game. Five thousand meters. Can I beat my other high score? Which was like 70,000. I'm almost at my other high score. One more time. You have to be careful because I think this is my last life. I also have to be careful when I slide down, especially on that branch. Oh. 72,934. Don't know if that was my score last time. So I think I'll try another Temple Run 2 game. Alright, I'm now going to try another version of Temple Run 2, and this one is Spooky Summit! So I'm ready to play 
Welcome to Temple Run 2. I'm Guy Dangerous and our adventure is just about to begin. Our mission is to take this ancient idol far, far away from this place. But beware of the Demon Monkey King. He doesn't like it when we do that. So we're ready. It still gives me the instructions, even though I know how to play Temple Run 2. This one's got some really spooky music. Hopefully this one will be easier than the other Temple Run game that I played. I should really do this version of Temple Run for Halloween, but I'm going to play it today. Nice job! <laughs> I'm going to try and get a good high score. So I should be ready right about now. Good job. Boost power up unlocked. Let's begin the game. Three, two, one. I don't know why I sound spooky myself. And I'm ready to activate it. The music is quite loud. Maybe the mine shaft will be spooky. Yes, that does look spooky. I've done this before because I know how the mind works in Temple 1 2. I'm. <laughs> Let's continue for free. I wonder what that high score was, but I'll see it next time I fail. <laughs> <laughs> the jumps are quite big though. Wait, what's that? 145 million? How can anyone get 145 million in this game? My highest score was like 160,000. There's no way I'll get 145 million. Let's run again. No, I didn't mean to press that. Oh, damn it. I could have revived. Flames are also a spooky green colour. 500 metres. And on the spooky rope, collecting all those tokens. Here comes the speed boost again. <laughs> I had to make sure I make that jump. High score. I could have got an even higher score if I press the revive button. So I have to go left here. I definitely know how to do this because I've played Temple One before. It's like sliding down the water. So I have to press down here. That's the second time I... Wait, what just happened then? I somehow got to revive all by myself without even clicking buttons. Or maybe it's because I'm on the river. The river of slime. 
Maybe I only fail once I hit an obstacle out of the river. You are ready now. This is where I have to be careful. Maybe it's because I was still in training as well. I'm pressing down to go down and it won't go down. I need a bit more practice going underneath the slime. Maybe I can practice now. 2,500 meters. I keep doing it too late. What's happened to me? I'm normally good at this. Finally, the river of slime is over. Come on, I got to the closest to jump over that. There is no way I'm going to get to 70,000 at this rate. on the top six slime. Oh, this is the part I need to practice some more on. I'm gonna go left here. And this time I'm going right. I'm going to make sure I go down for that too. I used to be better at Temple 1 too. But now I'm not, as I keep failing. I'll take the right path and hopefully I don't have to duck under any more logs. I need to practice more with the jumps as well. Much better at sliding under obstacles than going down underneath the toxic. Right, I'm going to have one more try at this. And I'm ninth. 85,000. One million and thirty-four thousand. Two million four hundred thousand. Four million four hundred thousand. Six million two hundred thousand. Nine million five hundred thousand. Twelve million two hundred thousand two hundred. One hundred and forty-five million. You must be playing for hours to get that score. Time to activate the speed boost. Oh, here comes the toxic river. I'm going to duck under. But I need to practice here as well. I know what I need to do.
Did those tokens just appear out of nowhere? Because I've missed quite a few. Luckily, I didn't fail once on the toxic slime. <coughs> and run! <coughs> Oh, here's the part I'm normally very good at. I'm ready now. I was born ready. Which is why I'm very good at the mine part. But there are a lot of twisty tracks. <laughs> I've missed the speed boost and I crashed into a wall. Let's continue. I need to practice on jumping over. Oh, here's the hard version of the spooky version. Wait, I said that wrong. Temple Run 2 has a hard part, and this is one of them. And I almost failed here. It's the big jumps that I have to practice on, like this one, and I did it. <laughs> Speed boost time. I need to beat 54,000, because that's where I failed last time. So I need to go under. I keep failing going under. I mustn't fail going under more obstacles. I got the high score at least. But that was two fails. Oh, I forgot about the spike wheel. So this is the third fail. I must try harder. I don't know what just happened there. Resume. Somehow I must have exited the screen. thousand meters <laughs> uh, 
they have checked something and luckily it didn't stop the recording. And I've accidentally pressed the button to start again, didn't I? So I think I'll try another version of Temple Run 2. Alright, now I'm going to try another version of Temple Run 2. And this time, it's Holly Festival. So I'm going to try this version next. Welcome to Temple Run 2. I'm Guy Dangerous and our adventure is just about to begin. Our mission is to take this ancient idol far, far away from this place, but beware of the demon monkey king. He doesn't like it when we do that. It's the same text every time, but let's play the Holly Festival version. <clears throat> and the music sounds normal. There would have been a lot of tokens around here. <clears throat> Maybe we'll get the tokens later. It still gives me the instructions to practice. Nice job. And here I have to slide under. I like the colourful effect on this map. So I'm going to go right here. So I should be ready to begin. <clears throat> Training is over. Good job. Boost power up unlocked. <clears throat> <clears throat> and I'm ready to activate it right about... <clears throat> <clears throat> I kind of don't want to activate it too early. Maybe now. And I like how I'm racing through already. In the colourful water this time. Nice job. So I have to press down to go down. It takes a bit of time to go underneath the river. I have noticed that. Maybe that's how I pressed it too late last time. You are ready now. <clears throat> Let's pretend that training never happened. Now I can get all those tokens to begin with. Again. I have to make sure I get a perfect game where I learn how to go under obstacles and not go under too late and hit the wall. I need to remember the jump. How did I miss that? How did I miss that shield power up? Five hundred meters. I'm going to try and get seventy thousand meters, like I did in the first game, or maybe the second game even. At least I got over 9,000. Now I've got a thousand meters. This is the river I have to practice again, going underneath the logs, because when I go down, it takes twice the time. 
Are you kidding me? Unlike when I began the game, my mood is going down. I had fun in the first game, but now things are going downhill. Well, I did press the bloody down. It's not like I pressed the down and the left at the same time. I just pressed the down button. That's all I pressed, and it thinks I delayed it. Was that my... You know what? I'll start the game. Restart it, I mean. Restart the game. God damn it. <clears throat> That was a poor performance of a game. That's what happened in the spooky version of Temple Run 2. I kept going under too late. I'm normally good at the river part, but it doesn't seem like it this time. Continue. I can slide under pretty easy, but going underneath the river is much harder. I thought I can jump over the flames, but I don't think he can in this game. It didn't look like I was hitting that thing. It looks fun and colourful, but this isn't fun. At least the minecart I can do easy. High score. I'll give it a better high score. High score of like 70,000, like I did in the first two games. You are ready now. This is not the part I need to practice on. The river is what I need to practice on. I hope next I hope the next part is the river. <gasps> Let's try that again. <gasps> I wish they didn't make the gap so big. This is the highest score I got so far in this game. But I need to practice on the river. <laughs> Let's 
let's just speed through this. Speeding through the mine shaft. Why do I always miss the power-ups? How about I run it again? At least I got over 50,000 that time. And I found the chest as well. Score. 30,000 points without stumbling in one run. Stumbling in one run. Maybe that could be my target. I could try and get to 30,000 without failing once. But that might be hard, though, since how this went. Speed boost. Oh, here's the part I need to practice on. I can easily go under that. And I make sure I don't press it too late. And I manage to go through those two. I could go through all of them at full speed, though. And here's the difficult part right here. And I've seen the spooky versions one as well. Unfortunately, I can't turn the speed boost on yet, because I haven't got enough tokens for it. But at least I can go fast here. Two thousand meters. Yes, I've completed my target. 30,000 without failing once. Didn't think I was going to do it, did I? Because of how it went last time. I can actually race through this. I have to be aware of the obstacles. So yes, this part can be quite easy with the speed boost. And I've got another speed boost. Can I fail? Wait, what am I saying? Can I get to 50,000 without failing? It looks like I can. <laughs> High score. I've missed that speed boost, but at least I got my own. <laughs> 
5,500 meters. I'm quite happy with that score, 68,900. Let's continue. But that was pretty impressive, 69,000 without failing once. Well, actually just short of 69,000. Ah oh, yes, the spike wheel again. Let's go. Seven thousand meters and eighty thousand points. I can do this, I've got the hang of this. It's going quite slow at the moment, hopefully it speeds up. <clears throat> 8,000 meters. Yeah, let's bring some action in it. But there's not enough to activate the speed boost. Now there is. Hundred thousand points. Nine thousand meters. At least I'm speeding through now. Can I get over 10,000 meters? I made it past the 10,000 meter mark. Oh, I get to go one more time. I wish there wasn't so many ads. It's going quite slow again now. Maybe it starts off slow and then goes faster. One hundred nineteen thousand six hundred twenty-one. Going under obstacles is going downhill. So yes, I think I'll try one more version of Temple Run 2, and this time it's Frozen Shadows. And I'm not going to read the script again, because it's probably going to say the same thing. So I'm going to just start skipping and play. 
I think this is another version I haven't tried yet. Oh, I could have played it before. I have played an icy one before. So it could have been this version that I have played before. Because I did play an icy one. Nice job. And I get the instructions again. Here we've got some very narrow paths, so I have to stay left. If I go to the middle, I might fall off. And this time I have to stay right. Nice job. So I should be ready to start. And also activate the power boost. You are ready now. I was ready ages ago because I know how to play these sort of games. It's weird, they still have the fire flame in the ice. The speed boost makes this part more easy as well. What the heck? Oh, I can easily jump over that. And then obstacles appear. So this should be quite easy, sliding down. Oof. I meant to go right. So the ads can be a bit annoying, but at least I was able to skip them. Because in some of the games, you can't skip the ads. And it was a shorter ad as well. But I can skip it. Didn't think I would be able to. I'm going to try and not rage in this one. Speed boost. I think I raged in the last two because I kept failing at easy bits, which was annoying. But that's why I raged last time. This could have been the game that I played before, because I do remember an icy one. And then the tree starts to fall down, which makes the game a little bit harder. But it doesn't make it too hard for me. I didn't know that was the high score. Maybe it's because I restarted when I got 21,000 points because I failed the first time. Maybe this time I won't restart the game so I can see what the highest score that I can get. Even going right can sometimes throw you off the path. So I have to be careful not to go right. Even if I did go right, I might fall off. Or I would certainly fall off if I'd gone right. So I have to be careful not to press the right button. I'm definitely getting the hang of this now. Oof. What is that thing? Let's continue. I didn't know what that thing was and it distracted me. I really needed the speed boost for this part. That 
that's much better. Sliding down is quite easy. Much easier than going down the river. So I have to go fully to the right and not in the middle. So yes, like I said before, it was easy. I'll take back what I said, sliding down isn't as easy as I thought. Going down the river is much more easier. I'll run again. And I'll get a higher score than 42,000. I'm going to speed through with the speed boost, especially on these thin paths. And unlocked the speed boost again. It's easy with the speed boost. I haven't seen that obstacle before. Some of these Temple Run games are actually harder than others. The ones that I failed on are supposed to be easier than these. And I still fail quite a lot on the easy ones. I am trying to get a better high score. Here we go again. And I must get over 42,000 points. How did I even miss that? How could I have messed that up? I normally find those jumps quite easy. Oh, what am I doing? This is the hardest bit of the game, the cave. And I would have found it easier with the speed boost. And I jump over the tree branches, not slide under them. I meant to say trees, not branches. I jump over the trees. Oof. It made me go left and I was trying to go right. Let's try that again. It made me go to the right just then. That was like a delayed reaction. Now I have to be careful when sliding down, because there are obstacles in the way. I didn't know I can slide under there. I thought I had to jump over that. Finally beaten 42,000. <laughs> 4,000 meters. 
I'm doing very well now. But I need to practice harder. How much do I have to slide down? That seemed like a long way to slide down. Oof. I just made it short of 50,000, so I'm going to run again. One more time. Let's beat that high score and get 50,000. Two hundred and fifty meters. I still got a long way to go. I need to unlock the speed boost at some point. I need to get more tokens though. At least I got two shields. Oh. I must stick to the left. And I've got the token magnet. 1,500 meters. And the trees I have to jump over. How am I here? How the hell am I here? I was on the cliff top. Oh, I was on one side of it. I can do this. Speed boost. That'll make it more easy. I need to get over 50,000 points. I was so close of getting that last time. I can do this. I still haven't got enough tokens. Still not enough. I will speed through this. I didn't even go left. Luckily I've still got one more life. I thought it activated it as well. I almost done it. I thought it didn't make that. Oh, that was scary.
I've done it. I've got to 50,000. But I'm going to carry on. That was my target as well. And I'm good at sliding down. Speed boost time. I was going to go left and it made me go right. That's the problem with these things sometimes. So yeah, I think I'll leave it there. So I hope you like this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Bye everyone.